Hey guys, this is uh, Dan from uh, Fisher Jeep Adventures, and uh, I figured this morning I'd talk to you about uh, the top five things that I think uh, make an overlanding setup better. Uh, no better place to talk about that than at camp. There are a few things that I think uh, extend the reach of your ability to go camping, and uh, it certainly makes life a lot more comfortable. Uh, the first thing um, is a rooftop tent. Gets you off the ground. Um, it it makes things, it gives you a lot more livable space, at least in my opinion. And um, I think it's got a lot of value if you have a vehicle that's set up for it. Um, number two is gonna be the fridge. So you guys have seen a video of mine where we had the Iceco VL45. We recently changed that to a Dometic CFX um, 45. And the reason for that is that I can have it halfway out on the slide and still open and get inside. Now the benefit of that is from the fridge standpoint is that you can pack all your food with you. The next thing for me is going to be water. You can't, can't do this without water. And so in a previous episode, and I'll link that in the description below, uh, we installed a foot well water tank uh, by front runner you can see that right there and then we ended up putting water pump which is right there and then a switch set up to allow us to get water out of that tank now that tank holds 10 gallons which is plenty of water for four or five days or if not more uh, to fill up and that allows you to drink it allows you to cook with, it allows you to wash up with, uh, but that having that water is critical. So far we have our rooftop tent, a refrigerator of whatever size and whatever brand, and then a water containment vessel, whether or not that's jerry cans, whether or not that's a life proof can, whether or not that's a, a tank that you have mounted up. I just think that having uh, the water is a pretty important deal. So number four for me is an awning. So we have, Jake and I both have um, ARB 2500 awnings. And the reason why the awnings make such a difference is it just increases your livable space. So for us, uh, these last couple days, it's rained um, every evening and through the morning. And so those awnings just give you a, a place to stay dry. Also, when it's hot and sunny, it, it allows you to uh, have some shade. So it just extends your livable space a whole lot more than it would otherwise. Talking about extending livable space means that you have to have uh, options to charge things like cameras, uh, lights, those kind of things. So the last uh, piece of overlanding gear that I think is really important is to have some kind of battery system. Now I have uh, installed a lithium battery in the Jeep and have created a kind of elaborate uh, charging and um, control center mechanism. And I'll... Now my setup isn't for everybody. You gotta understand electronics. You gotta know uh, the different types of, of wiring and the different types of systems and setups that you need to create an, a way to charge a lithium battery as well as to get the energy out of it. There are other solutions like the really popular, the Jackeries, the EcoFlows, those kind of things that have everything uh, in it together. So you have a battery pack uh, that'll run your fridge, it will charge your electronics. You can recharge them pretty fast. Most of them have a small inverter in them so you can run 120 volt things if that's what you need. But I think that those battery systems are really important um, for being off grid, for doing overlanding, for going you know, away from a campground to be able to um, run your fridge, to charge your phone, to charge your cameras, to do all the things that you wanted to do. Now you certainly can buy a bunch of uh, battery powered items that'll do all of those things, but at some point you need to be able to charge it. And, uh, while protecting the vehicle battery at the same time. I chose to build the system that I did just simply because I'm familiar with it. Um, but the EcoFlows, the Jackeries, 
uh, those kind of self-contained units are uh, really popular, really easy, um, and I think it makes for a, a pretty good solution for everyone. So, so that wraps up my top five items for overlanding. Uh, a rooftop tent to get you up off the ground and gives you some more interior space. Um, a refrigerator, some kind of water storage containment set up, an awning, and lastly, um, some kind of battery system, whether or not it's self-made or it's one you buy off the shelf. Now, for honorable mention, and number six to me is a winch. So if you're gonna do a bunch of overlanding or you're gonna be off, um, especially if you're gonna go off by yourself, having a winch is really important. And I say that that is honorable mention because it's not necessary. I think that you can be really smart about what you do. I think you can be careful about where you are. I think that with some traction boards and just smart driving, you can get out about 90% of the situations. But for me, it's that 10% that matters. So as far as the winch brands, I mean, that's, that's customer choice. You know, you can, you can, you can go cheap, you can go expensive. You know, I guess it's just personal preference from that. So, like I said, top five overlanding plus rooftop tent, refrigerator, water storage, awning, some kind of battery setup, and a winch. So, hope you guys got something from the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment. Um, I try and get back to them as soon as I can. This is Dan and Sam from Fisher Jeep Adventures, and we'll see you on the trail.